Happy Rails to you. Welcome back, my friends. Happy Rails to you. It's good to see you again. Thanks for watching the channel and the videos. Sometimes they go real fast and sometimes they're slow. Happy Rails to you. Thanks for watching. In. Hi guys, welcome back to the Kansas, Colorado and Texas Railroad. I'm out here working on the layout again. And I'm going to make some changes over there. Um, not today. Won't get to it in this video, but it'll be along the way. Several changes that might be made. I think I'm going to take this space right here, this open space, and we're going to fill that in. And we'll probably put lights from this area down below it. Let's see how that works out. Today I'm just working on the track, still continuing to work on the track, trying to get it uh, straight. I'm going to put our building, our engine house in. Uh, got the track pretty much temporarily situated. We'll get that organized and get it done today. Hopefully. Take those old buildings up. See where we're going to relocate those or if we're going to use them at all. Let's see how much we get done today. All right, so here we go. Okay, I'm readjusting the track. Uh, and. Uh, Trying to figure out exactly where the track is going to sit. already spaced this line over and I think that's going to be its permanent sitting place so I'm going to go ahead and put screw down in it. It, it taken my electric drill in the house so, most of this by hand.
There we go. Now we're going to take this one over. to meet with that. It's really hot out here today. It's almost 100 degrees. They usually don't work out here when it's this hot. I thought it was a little cooler. Uh, and it was earlier, a little earlier, but I couldn't get out here right then. So I'm not going to be out here long today. But I do want to get this track adjusted, get the building uh, set, even if it's just temporary. camera fell over I heard it but I didn't see it Okay, good enough for now. That's more precise as to where it's going to sit. I had these track in just for an idea, uh, to get an idea of what we could do. Let's see if we can just set the building. I think I'm going to uh, before we permanently fix it or set it. I think I'm going to make some small changes to it. Uh, 
I want the building to come all the way forward against the walkway that's in the back here. I've got it set back away from the wall. I don't want our space as such that it's even on both sides. And as you can see, we get light down on the inside of the building, of course, coming through the roof. And as I say, I may add lights on the outside of the building or and on and or on the inside of the building. Uh, at a later time. Having trouble with the phone. Uh, camera. They don't like to stand up by themselves too much. Think that'd be all right. And that's pretty much how it's going to sit. We're going to uh, put a stop, uh, an engine and car stop on the end of the track so that the engines just come back approximately where I have them sitting right now, just so far. And of course, we have adjusted the building. So that it sits, so that we have our appropriate sides room down the size of the uh, the engine barn, and of course uh, down the the center. Now the additions I'm going to make is the walkways uh, down the sides and uh, as I said a few minutes ago, the stops on the back. Can put a little more light in there. I think that looks pretty good.
Now, of course, by, by it being, uh, this is KCT's first engine house. Uh, and by it being uh, KCT, uh, of course, the uh, UP uh, can use these shops. They're open to Santa Fe, of course, and Denver, Rio Grande. Kansas City Southern. Missouri Pacific. Of course, the Katy. AMT. And whomever is traveling uh, the lines that needs repair. Whenever it's possible, uh, these shops will be open. We're going to get old Hank and the crew in there as soon as we get everything set up and get them busy working on trains. Now on the outside here, See, I still have this single track sitting right here. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to use this or not, as this is a section of uh, line L. Or, no, this is Mike's train house. Yeah. Has the rails, uh, the ties, everything looks nice, but it won't blend in very well with everything else. As I said, I was just trying to get a feel uh, to what I could actually do to put an extra rail in there for siding. Give you a long distance look. I think it's going to be nice when I get done. All right, so I'm gonna get busy getting the things together to finish up the, this building, setting it in place. And I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I've still gotta build the footing for the building, which is gonna lift it up about a 16th of an inch, or, uh, eighth of an inch. Um, and um, as you see I've got the building, building sitting at, kind of at an angle I'm just looking at it I'm visioning the building sitting uh, at an angle like that and I, as you can see I've got some track laid there just to see get an idea how it would work and what it would look like. Um, I think instead of having the building going straight in 
I think I'm going to angle the building like that, which is going to give me a little more room on one side of the yard. Uh, so, um, let's get busy um, first putting the uh, footing around the building and then uh, we're going to work on whether or not to go straight or whether or not to uh, take that angle and go in to the building uh, that way. I don't know for sure. Well, first things first, let's put the footing on the building. It's been over a little over a week. We actually uh, left out of town uh, with our son and daughter and some other family relatives. And uh, they had a family trip. Uh, we went to Kalahari for, I think it was three days. Uh, had a nice time, spending time with our uh, children and uh, grandkids and uh, some of our other relatives, nieces, nephews, sister-in-laws, brother-in-laws. We had a nice time. Um, so, uh, anyway, we hadn't been anywhere now for four or five years. <sighs> and uh, my wife's birthday is coming up next week. So we're going to try to do something. I, I don't know. But right now, um, we're going to go ahead and work on the railroad. Let's get started. Well, guys, we're going to pick this up in the next video. Uh, I think I'm going to quit for the day. But uh, as always, please, if you enjoy these videos, like them and subscribe. We'd like to have you uh, following us uh, as part of the uh, Kansas, Colorado, and Texas Railroad fans. Uh, we, we're going to be back uh, in the next episode and finish up the foundation for our shop. All right. As always, if you enjoy running your trains, if you enjoy working on them, remodeling your buildings, kit bashing, kit building, working on the landscape, on your layout, building custom engines, or just repairing them or refurbishing them. No matter what your hobby is, you should be able to do it and feel good about it. And that's Happy Rails. So until next time, remember, God loves you and Jesus Christ is Lord. Bye for now. This has been a Catzilla production.